All right, folks, happy Monday, 26th of August, about 10 a.m. All right, I hardly have any time. I'll explain that to you here as quick as I can. We just threw down some pure urea, which is uh, nitrogen. This is the uh, primary sorghum regrowth, which is actually quite outstanding. As pathetic as it is, it's quite outstanding compared to what we've had here, which has been a desert. Um, okay, so this is what's going on. The desert's about to stop. Um, we got an absolute pile of rain coming. You know, life is all but a catch-22 sometimes. We need rain so bad, but it, it, it almost appears to me that we've got some, we're going to call it damaging rain coming. Well, of course, you know, I just new seeded that property that was basically a dust bowl. Damaging rain, I can't tell you what that's going to do to that field. But whatever, we're just going to sit back and we're going to watch it. All right, more importantly, let's forget about that right now. Otherwise, I'm going to get mad. All right, any other forms of second crop are out the window, except for sorghum, and that's it. Um, of course, we've got corn to harvest yet. This rain is an absolute blessing. There is no other word to use. Um, I am short on feed, as far as I'm concerned. Actually, I'm, I'm good on feed, but there's nothing to sell, and that's... That's not good. So, I'm doing my part in trying to get a second harvest, even if it's two feet, which a second growth sorghum is very surprising, folks. With the rain we have coming here in about two, three hours, plus I'm putting down about 120 pounds of nitrogen, um, urea, an acre. I'm doing my part and hopefully getting another crop. I actually just finished. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a real big gamble move, and I'm going to go ahead and put another 100 pounds to the acre on the uh, secondary field as well. well. We'll see what happens. You have to try. It's the only other feed sources I really have left other than the peas and oats, which need this drink of water real bad, and then they need to be harvested by possibly later next week, including my last alfalfa field that... Uh, I've, I've got the problem fixed with the baler now, just waiting on that part. We're going to be square baling next week as well. The way I see it, we have 20 to 25 days to see what this will do for us. With this big drink of water we have coming, the added fertilizer that we're putting down right now, and some time. Um, I'm hoping that we are quite surprised to see what this is going to be here in 20 to 25 days. Remember, we're dealing with sorghum here in that first frost. That's a huge no-no. You do your best to time it out and get it off before that first frost. You have to. Um, hopefully, we got a perfect little world going here. On the 15th of September, we'll look at the weather pattern. If it's free and clear, we'll let this puppy grow. We'll see. Um, I'd love nothing more to get another 75, maybe even 100 bales of sorghum. That's going to be worth a lot here, being that there's hardly zero, zero second crop worth of dry hay. Thank God for that bunker buster of a first crop. Um, but there was a price to pay for it. But uh, yeah, a lot of things going on here. Uh, Dad's helping me out here this morning. He went and picked up the rest of those alfalfa round bales off the grassy alfalfa field. And... Um, we're meeting here in about one hour to run the barn cleaner, which needs to be done severely bad in the barn. Kind of let that go just a little bit. No big deal. We're going to run barn cleaner. And then by 1230, sit back and watch it rain. Uh, I got some work to do in the machine shed, and uh, we'll go from there. So checking in, saying a happy Monday. Um, we'll put on a video tonight sometime, uh, hopefully a corn update. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. I got to take off tomorrow morning for a couple of days. I need to go away at wall for a little bit. But uh, yeah, happy Monday, folks. Talk to you sooner and later.